some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Connecticut with the Long Island Frauditor as he attempts to go to the trial of another Frauditor buddy of his who is on trial for obstruction of justice. Oh wait, dude, how many Frauditor buddies do you have and how many of them actually don't have criminal records? I would wager probably none. I'm sure all of them have got a criminal record of some kind, especially you. But at any rate, he is refused entry into the courthouse because apparently they have pictures of him in the courthouses throughout Connecticut. And, well, that just shows you how much of a douchebag he is. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Six months ago, I covered an incident involving Connecticut resident Kevin Garrison and corrupted state trooper Selleck. Selleck viciously assaulted Mr. Garrison for exercising his First Amendment rights. Instead of prosecuting Selleck, the state's attorney is prosecuting Mr. Garrison, the victim. Let's take another look at the incident and you tell me who's the victim and who's the criminal. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video where you will see how I was threatened with arrest for attending Mr. Garrison's court date. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, let's see how this all transpired. I mean, come on now, Sean. Your uh, little narrative here is probably going to go down in flames anyway because, well, there's a fine line between uh, the First Amendment freedom of speech and disorderly conduct, dude, and it happens to be crossed all the damn time by you ignoramus frauditors. I'm here for your protection. Why? Because these people are criminals and will you over the first chance they get yeah go ahead and smile and kiss their ass until it happens to you okay uh so this guy was being belligerent being antagonistic to both parties at the traffic stop both the cop and the person being pulled over i mean come on now dude you don't you expect us to believe that this guy was totally innocent like a little puppy dog uh no dude uh Bullshit. I'm a 30-year veteran and I got pulled over and yanked out of my car because I refused to ID because it was an illegal stop. Yeah. Look at just just Google Connecticut State Police and how much shit they're in. How much shit that ma'am, what's your badge number and name, please? I'm Trooper Patat, badge number 366. Thank you for your professionalism. Where's I'm the also other a veteran, so good for you? For yeah, thank you for yours. How many combat tours? Two. Uh, two too many. Where's the other pig that won't identify? You see how he's just stuck out of his car. He'll be out shortly. He refused to identify. You might want to bring that up with a commander. It's part of your policy. I know. I know you know, but he said it's not. So he's not only a pig, he's a liar. Okay, okay. Can you provide the citation for... Uh where it says that the officer must identify themselves in their policy because, well, I bring this up to frauditors all the damn time, and, well, they never seem to have the answer for that. I mean, they claim they know, but, uh, well, when it comes right down to it and you uh, ask them, uh, they don't respond. Shit. What, are you, your dog going to protect you? Scumbag. Get away. No, back dude, up. don't touch me. Back up. Do Turn not up touch me. Turn up with your head by your back. Why? Turn around. Why? Turn around. Why? Why? Get away from me, dude. Shit. I am not. I asked you a question. I asked you a question. Oh, 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 God, I got him. I got a rule. I'm ruined from the vet. Uh, my shoulders all from the war. Please. Well, first of all, I would say your head's already messed up uh, because you decided to go down the path of frauditing and uh, follow people like Sean Paul Reyes, which basically means 
Uh, you're not exactly uh, the brightest person out there to begin with. And second of all, fraud uh, ailments are quite common. Every time you guys get arrested, it's ow my shoulder, ow my knee, ow my head. I mean, you're well enough to go over there and harass them, but whenever uh, it comes time to pay the price, oh, oh yeah, you can't arrest me, I got a bad wing. Uh, yeah, dude, it doesn't exactly work that way. <sighs> Hand oh in my front God. of you. I can't see. I can't see. Other hand. Sure. Dude, I just asked a question. No, you what your you name was. My car and I told you to back up. But I can go up to your car. No, you can't. I can. I can. This is going to be a big lawsuit. Okay. Okay. What, what, what crime did I commit? Interfering. Interfering with what? An investigation. That's a physical activity. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Hey, Frauditor, uh, can you show me where it says in the uh, Connecticut interference uh, statute that it's entirely a physical act? Uh, no, because it's right here on the screen, and it doesn't say it anywhere. Can, so can you uh, rephrase that into something that doesn't make you look like such a dumbass? You just my friend. Okay. Your qualified immunity yep. is gone. Okay, I'm gonna get. I need medical help. I request yeah, a super. I request a supervisor. Right I got your ID. <sighs> Please record this. Your phone is still recording. I request a supervisor. Negative, just negative. I request a supervisor. Do not, I do not consent to searches or seizures. Well, you're under arrest. So well, I, for what? Then read me my rights. I'm not asking you questions. <laughs> Trooper, you just punched me another suspicious incident. Uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Nazis. <laughs> Nazis. Well, there you go. Godwin's Law invoked uh, reducio ad hitherum was used. Inevitably, some idiot is going to use that fallacy to compare uh, one thing to a, the Nazi party or Hitler. In this case, you maliciously use that uh, reference and completely fall flat on your face. Because if these were true Nazis back in the day and you were acted like this toward them, well, dude... Uh, your life would have been extinguished quite quickly. So you have no historical context whatsoever. You have no freaking clue what you're talking about. If you want to find out the truth about the difference, go talk to somebody who actually lived through those times in that country, and uh, they'll tell you the difference. Do you want the gun? No, I do not. I'm a peaceful, almighty man. <laughs> Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Who don't fucking take shit from police because you guys are crooked. Dude, <laughs> this is gonna go down bad for you. you got gloves? Never mind, I got gloves. Oh my God, I, I, you can't see out of my right eye. Twenty-eight years serving my country for this bullshit? Oh no! Oh no! No, no! Oh my God! I could have been on. Really? Is that what you're gonna use? You've seen the news. Oh no! I have. Oh, is that how we're gonna play this? Is that how we're gonna do this? Guys, officer safety. You, the same thing officer, first officer. Yeah, you but you're a police it? officer, not me. I'm not yelling at you. So why are you yelling at me? Because I'm. I know you're. Why am I yelling at you? I know. Why because you're I'm aggravated. Him. I defended the Constitution for 26 years and get treated like this by some Nazi. But I didn't commit a crime. What crime? Articulate the crime that I committed. Interfering. Interference is physical. Not always. It always is. In the law, by the law, it's physical. Uh, I got a question for you, Frauditor. Do you have any concept of how to do independent research, basically looking this stuff up for yourself, instead of uh, being spoon-fed this garbage from other Frauditors who uh, are trying to brainwash their uh, 
Well, groupies, I mean, come on now, dude. That's all you are at this point. You're a brainwashed fraudulent groupie. You're a simp. You're a Long Island audit simp at this point. So congratulations. You're a lame brain, frauded tarred moron with no capacity for independent thought whatsoever. You're the perfect moron to follow these frauditors and lick their boots. That's right. Uh, you can let Sean put on those boots and you can lovingly caress them. And while you uh, shove them on your mouth and uh, lick those boots boots clean and let them shine so bright and uh, LIA can look at himself in that mirror finish that these boots now have. Yeah, I got hit pretty I got slammed. I got slammed to the ground pretty hard. Oh, hi. And I'm going to take the badge. You have a head injury? Hi. Sure do. He hit the ground. I didn't hit the ground. I got plowed into the ground by the pig. Well, that's the end of that particular video that Sean Paul Reyes wanted to shove down our throats to try to make us think that somebody was persecuted in this particular scenario. No, dude, the guy is a complete moron. So let's see what that spin doctor, uh, Sean Paul, has to say about this particular scenario, if he has anything intelligent to say at all. Fellow Patriots, on July 9th, I drove over three hours to support Mr. Garrison during his court appearance for these ridiculous charges. Keep in mind, I didn't go there with the intention of recording. I was there to simply meet Mr. Garrison in person, show him my support, and gather information so I can update all of you. Bullshit! Bullshit! Apparently, the whole state of Corrupticate knows who I am and have my picture posted in the courthouses. State marshals wouldn't allow me to enter the courthouse even though I wasn't recording, which is why I began to exercise my rights and record. This is what happened. Yeah, that's a very good story right there, uh, dude. Yeah, a very good story indeed. But, you know, too bad it's bullshit because you never, ever go anywhere without the desire to record anything, Sean. That's part of your uh, gimmick right there. So you go into places that you know you're going to be kicked out of and record so you can uh, complain and everything like that and try to get a, a lawsuit going. In fact, that's your goal right here because... You uh, are going to, you threatened to sue them after this uh, fiasco right here. So, yeah, you had every intention of creating drama and no intention of not recording. So it kind of makes you wonder, are you really helping this guy out because you feel pity for him? Or are you just grifting your audience once again? I mean, makes you wonder, doesn't it? All right, come on, All right. Let's go. I want to. I want. I want to come into the public building. Why am I not allowed into this public courthouse, Marshal? Why am I? Why am I not allowed into the public courthouse, Marshal? Why? Why am I not allowed in the public courthouse? Why am I not allowed? Why am I not allowed in the public courthouse? I'm here to watch a friend's court case. I am. I don't want to record in the building. But I don't want to record in the building, says the man who is recording in a building that is essentially a non-public forum to begin with. Do you realize how stupid you sound in that? Uh, come on now, Sean. You've got to realize how stupid you actually are and actually sound in a lot of your videos. But I guess you just don't care. As long as you're getting the money, right? You are not allowing me to come into the to the courthouse without... You're not allowing me to come into the courthouse without giving up my you have phone. To stop recording. No one else has to give up their electronic devices. You have to stop recording or you're going to be asked to leave. No one else has to give up their electronic devices. No, no one else has to give up their electronic devices. Well, Sean, when you act like an entitled asshat every day of your life, uh, you're going to get some special treatment in your life. I mean, you just can't go around committing crimes all your life and expect there to be no consequences. I mean, your picture is bound to appear on somebody's bulletin board at one point. So don't be all butthurt about it, because you're the one who's the cause of all your damn misery. And we all know about your uh, criminal record, your armed robbery and everything like that. And you say, oh, nobody got hurt in that particular one. No victim, no crime, nobody got hurt, anything like that. Uh, no, that's not exactly how it works, Sean. You still created a victim in that particular situation. You just refuse to believe it. I'm finished. 
No one else has to give up their electronic devices. Huh. Marshall, no one else. I, I don't, I'm not trying, I didn't come here for this today. Okay, but you're doing it, so. I came here. You can't record. To come inside of a public courthouse. You cannot record. I, I, I don't want to record. You are recording. I want to take my phone. I want to take my phone inside of the you're courthouse. Not allowed to bring it in. Of course I'm allowed to bring it in. No, you're not. Under whose authority are you stopping me from bringing, walking into the courthouse? Phone. You're not allowed to record, and you're not allowed to have your phone in here. So, come on, let's go. Huh? I'm out. not allowed to even bring my phone into the courthouse. You should just step outside. I would like to speak to a supervisor. He's right there. Who, no, who's the chief here? He's in New London. Come on, you can't record in the building. It says it right there. You know that. And you're not even supposed to have your phone in here. Why am I not allowed to have my phone in here? Everybody else is allowed to have their phone in here. You can't record. Everybody else. That's my attorney right there, right behind you. Okay. All right. So come on out. He can explain it to you. No, no, he can't. He's your attorney. If you, you have. Stop recording. You, the phone is going to be taken. It's very simple. You're going to take my phone. Yes. If you keep. You're what authority? You're not even a law enforcement officer. Yes, we are. We're a sworn peace officer. Okay. And we're giving you numerous we're giving chances, you numerous opportunities just to leave the building. We're not trying to give you a hard time. So if I come, if I come inside with it with my phone and I'm not recording, I'm allowed to be there. You are not. According to what? According to that's what I've been told. And that's by who? Who have you been told that by? Who have you been told that by? I'm not in the courthouse anymore. Who have you been told that by? Marshall, who have you been told that by? Why can't I come into the building with my cell phone, but everybody else can? That's ridiculous. I was here to support a friend during his court case, and you're not allowing me inside the building with my cell phone. I'm being singled out and discriminated against. No, I'm, I'm with him, actually. Oh, Sean, cry me a river and build a bridge over it, you gibbering moron. I mean, come on now. You're being discriminated against? Uh, by based on what? Your age, your gender, your race, what? I mean, have you been denied a job here because of something? I mean, dude, uh, you've been ejected from a courthouse based on prior issues and uh, you want to say you're being discriminated against uh dude uh yeah uh they're taking precautions because they know exactly who you are and that uh you are nothing more than a troublemaker and their job is to keep the troublemakers outside of the building so dude you're not being discriminated against you're not being singled out you are a security threat to begin with okay he's with me or however you want to look at it it's absolutely ridiculous what you guys are doing you're enforcing what your boss told you that i can't be inside the courthouse oh So is this just for the Norwich or any courthouse I'm not allowed to come in with a camera, with a cell phone? Marshall, I'm asking you a question. I can only know what I'm over here. I can't speak to the entire state. So you're, you're being told that Sean Paul Reyes cannot come inside the courthouse with a cell phone. That's what you're being told. So if I came in here with recording glasses or anything else, you wouldn't know, right? Just let, just so, I just want to let you know, Marshall, this is a big mistake that whoever your boss is and that's keeping me out of a public courtroom, courthouse with my cell phone, I wasn't even recording. Now you've declared war on what I do and my activism and I'm going to handle it accordingly. Oh, that's real funny, Sean. That's real funny. Considering that many of your lawsuits, well, they just get uh, dismissed and everything like that. I mean, that one in New York uh, didn't work out very well for you, now did it? I mean, the best you could do on that one was to get a temporary injunction uh, ensuring that the uh, NYPD uh, had to take their down their signs. But the uh, higher courts found it to be constitutional that police departments could uh, regulate the photography in their uh, buildings. So you lost that one, dude. And it'll be much the same about this as well, because guess what? They can tell somebody to leave their building if they want to. And if they don't want you in there, they can trespass you just as easily, Sean. So deal with it, you dumbass. Okay. Whether that's with a lawsuit, whether it's coming in here. I'm, I'm not in the courthouse. I'm not in the courthouse. I think it's ridiculous that I'm being discriminated against and I can't come inside of a taxpayer-funded building with my cell phone, but everybody else can. 
Yeah. Wow, despicable, man. Absolutely despicable. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to where I live. Ah. Oh. I know. I've been here plenty of times. Corrupt again. Hey, Sean, I got a question for you. Do you feel a little twinge in your rear end? Do you feel like that uh, your butt is in pain? Do you feel like you've been hurt in some way? Well, I got just a thing for you. Black Heart Knight's Butt Hurt Cream. Guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass or your money back. Oh, wait. I didn't make this stuff. Some elves made it for me and uh, shipped it off to me. And I'm not getting paid for it whatsoever. So there's no money involved in it. So uh, if you don't mind uh, rubbing something on your ass that's been made by some damn dirty elves and everything like that, uh, well, go right ahead because I'm not sure if this will cure any pain in your ass. But it's worth a shot, Sean. I mean, you're going to need it. But all due seriousness, Sean, I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, if you're going to act like a complete and total moron and uh, courthouses start posting pictures of you all over the place, one would think that that kind of response would be expected. But you act like that this is the first time this has ever happened to you. Sean, I am sure that you've gone into other places and seen your picture pasted on the wall where it says that you are not welcome here. I mean, it's not discrimination. They just don't want your sorry ass in there because you're a no nuisance. And that's going to follow you around for a long time to come, Sean. Deal with it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Josh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Show me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so, with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name, and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose. Morning. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the post speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? Okay. I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.